It's really common to experience nausea while taking Suboxone. In clinical studies, 15% of people report nausea while taking the med. There's a few reasons for this. One, you might be in opioid withdrawal and your Suboxone dose is just too low. It means the nausea is not from Suboxone, rather it's from not enough Suboxone. It's pretty easy to figure this out because you might have other symptoms of withdrawal like hot flashes, chills, anxiety, insomnia, loose stools, etc. If you think the nausea is related to withdrawal, it might just mean you need a higher dose of Suboxone. So talk to your treatment provider to find the dose that's right for you. Two, sometimes if you swallow any residual medication that wasn't absorbed under your tongue, it'll cause stomach discomfort and nausea. You can avoid this by spitting out the last bit of residue instead of swallowing it. Or if you're super busy and it's just too inconvenient, try eating something before taking the Suboxone. Three, it's common for opioids, including Suboxone, to cause constipation. When we're constipated, everything in the gut slowed down. You can feel uncomfortable or bloated, even get some heartburn. All of this can lead to nausea. And the best way to manage nausea is to fix the constipation. Just get everything moving again. How do we do that? Get more fiber, drink more water, move your body. So we've talked about the three most common ways Suboxone leads to nausea. One, withdrawal. Two, stomach irritation from the Suboxone. Three, constipation. And we talked about how to potentially manage these. Adjust your Suboxone dose, avoid swallowing any residual medication on an empty stomach, or fix the constipation with fiber, water, and exercise. If none of these things help, talk to your treatment provider about other ways to manage your symptoms. They might prescribe medications for nausea, constipation, or change your Suboxone dose.